Hey y'all, what up? This is Just That Dude and this is Just That TV. And I am here to talk about Catfish Season 5, Episode 9, Tymir and Tomorrow. I think that was his name, Tymir, some shit like that. So, this episode is about a dude named Tymir. He's 27 years old from Virginia and he is a father of two. He met this girl named Tamaro, who is 25 from Alabama on Facebook. He said one night he was chilling on Facebook or whatever and he made this status about pancakes. And she fucking, you know, she liked it or whatever like that. And he slid in her motherfucking DMs and they was talking all night and shit. He says that they hit it off right away. You know, the chemistry was amazing or whatever like that. You know, he was feeling her, you know, all this other shit. He says that fucking they both is diabetics or whatever. And, you know, she was there for him one time when, you know, he had a big loss in his life or whatever. His fucking cousin and his grandma died. His cousin died um, of diabetes. Coincidentally, I was like, all oh, y'all bitches have diabetes. But his cousin died of diabetes or whatever, and his grandma died of cancer. And basically, she was there or whatever. She comforted him. She consoled him. You know, she was there for him or whatever. So that really made him, like, really close to her or whatever like that. He says throughout the time that they talked or whatever, you know, he grown to love her and he want to motherfucking move to Alabama and be with her or whatever. He says that he didn't fucking talk on the phone with her mama, her auntie, her uncle, and her motherfucking grandmama. So he feel like this shit is real. You know, he's in it. He like, this is the bitch for me. She's there for me. You know, every motherfucking thing. And I'm already a part of the family over the motherfucking phone. So I mean, why not in real motherfucking life? Like he just read. But he like, we never motherfucking video chatted. You know, she said that her camera is broke, classic catfish line. You know, they never motherfucking met because he's all the way in fucking Virginia. She's in Alabama. They don't have no money like that. He says that he's unemployed right now or whatever. And I think he's living with his mama. So, you know, they just like, what the fuck? He want to meet her or whatever like that. So they was like, okay, okay, you know, that's cool. So... They go out there to meet him, you know, they sit there talking or whatever and all this other bullshit. So then they like, okay, well, let's see this girl that you're just so in love with. So they check her out. She's a cute girl or whatever like that. And, <laughs> and you know, they come across this one picture. She had a motherfucking, uh, she took a selfie or whatever. They was like, okay, well, she's holding a fucking iPhone 6. So, I mean, both of her candles, her cameras is broke, like the front cam and the back cam. Like, what the fuck? Like, that don't really add up, but I mean, it is what the fuck it is. You know, you ain't never questioned her about this shit. You know, he seemed like he's very gullible. And, you know, another one of her pictures, she's wearing a motherfucking, um, a Missouri State fucking hoodie or whatever. So, they was like, that's a Missouri State hoodie. Like, what the fuck? So, he like, no, it says Mississippi. They're like, no, nigga, it says Missouri. Like, <laughs> clear as day, it's in Missouri. And I'm like, oh my God, he can't spell. Like, I was like so shocked like what the heck like really dude like really so they like okay well you know flags right there but you know we gonna check this we gonna check this out he says that fucking um he know one of her friends he know her best friend or whatever like that the only reason he know her best friend is because um they fucking had in between a little relationship they had broke up for some strange odd reason I don't know if he said it or whatever but they had broke up and while they was broken up Tomorrow cheated on him and slept with her friend Latrice baby Dick. And she ended up getting pregnant by her best friend Latrice's baby daddy. And I was like, what the fuck? And he was like, what the fuck too? Or whatever. And he ended up fucking, you know, breaking up with her or whatever like that. Because he was like, you know, that was some bullshit or whatever. And all the other shit. I was like, bitch, that's messy and that's trifling as hell. Like, bitch, no. And he said that he thought about it or whatever. You know, he really liked her or whatever. He in love with her. So he took her back or whatever. He went back. He was like, you know, maybe this is something that I can handle or whatever like that. You know, he really loved her. He felt like he could handle it. But she ended up having a miscarriage and losing a motherfucking baby or whatever like that. So I was like, okay, maybe that's good for you, I guess. But whatever. <clears throat> So they like, okay, well, what the fuck? Like, this story is weird as fuck, but we gonna go search it, you know, get the information that you motherfucking need. So they go search all this motherfucking information. 
they search her fucking Facebook page and they see one of her fucking pictures and one of her pictures in the background it's like these little thunderclap things that you get from like a basketball game or whatever and it says on it like St. Louis, Missouri. So they're like okay we'll see here go Missouri coming back up like what the fuck is going on. So then they do a fucking picture search and they were searching a couple of her photos but nothing was coming up and then on her last photo that they searched they got uh, some matches or whatever like that. They click it and sent them to a fucking Twitter page of this girl named um, Orissa who lives in Kansas City, Missouri. So they was like, okay, maybe this is the real motherfucking girl or whatever. Then they searched motherfucking tomorrow's phone number and it comes up as, what the fuck did it come up as? It came up as Christ Rothwell. So they're like, what the fuck? What kind of motherfucking name is that? <laughs> And they was like, oh, fuck no. Like, uh, we ain't got time for this shit. So they was like, let's go search the best friend's Facebook page. So they went and searched Latrice's Facebook page. And they was like, you know, this seems like a real motherfucking page or whatever. But Latrice ain't got no f pictures with fucking tomorrow in there. Like, what the fuck? Like, y'all supposed to be best friends, but y'all ain't got no pictures together. Like, what the hell is going on? So they fucking searched in her friend list. They was like, let's just search um you know this Rothwell name or whatever so they searched the last name Rothwell and a fucking profile pops up with this girl named Christina Rothwell so they was like okay maybe Christ was short for Christina why the motherfuck did her phone company short her name like that I don't fucking know but they fucking you know they was like okay like what the fuck is going on so they was like let's fucking search her um phone number in Facebook and I do this all the motherfucking time so they searched the motherfucking phone number and his profile name, uh, what the fuck was the name? Shadija? I think it was Shadija fucking pops up or whatever. So they're like, okay, well, who the fuck is this bitch? Like, it was just so much motherfucking shit just popping up, popping up, popping up, popping up. And they're like, what the fuck? So they see on Shadija's page a fucking picture of an ultrasound. So they're like, oh, look, look, they go to fucking ultrasound. They're like, what the fuck? Maybe that's the fucking um, ultrasound that you know, this is the baby or whatever. So, they fucking come to the conclusion that fucking, um, Latrice and Christina is friends on Facebook with Tomorrow. So, they're like, maybe all these girls is fucking connected and all these girls is catfishing this boy. Like, what the fuck? Like, it may be like a family of fucking motherfuckers catfishing this dude. So, you know, they like, what the fuck? We gonna take all this information back to, um, whatever the fuck his name was. Jameer. Tamir's Tamir. <laughs> Like, I don't know, bitch, it's late. And, you know, they gonna let him know what's going on, what's going on. Because, you know, they figured out that this girl is not who she says she is. So, they go back and they tell him everything or whatever. And, you know, he's devastated, of course, or whatever, you know. He don't know how to feel about it and all this other bullshit. So, they was like, okay, well, you know, we came across this ultrasound picture. Do you still have the ultrasound picture that she sent you? So, he was like, yeah, I think it's in my Facebook messages. So, it was like, okay, well, go to it. Come to find out that just the same goddamn ultrasound picture. So they're like, yeah, somebody's fucking with you or whatever. Like, we need to motherfucking go and figure out what the fuck is going on. So they message fucking uh, Latrice and Christina's page or whatever. And they text motherfucking tomorrow or whatever. The next motherfucking morning, Christina writes back and was like, you need to come out to motherfucking Alabama. And so we can explain, you know, what the fuck is going on. So they're like, we, oh my gosh, like it is, it's what the fuck we said it was like, Bitch, we gotta motherfucking go. So they go the fuck out there. She hit them up again. It was like, meet me at such and such and such address at fucking noon. And I was like, bitch, but why noon? You know, like it was just some creepy shit. And I was like, what the fuck is going on? So they go or whatever. Meet um, they go whatever. Knock on the motherfucking door. Creepy ass motherfucking house. Fucking Christina comes out. And um, she was just like, you know, she was like, she's nervous or whatever like that. But she was like, they came all this motherfucking way. Um, so, you know, they need to motherfucking come clean. She kept saying they or whatever. She was like, she don't know. Um, I keep forgetting his name. <laughs> she don't know uh, Tamir. Is it Tamir? Yeah. No. It's I forgot what the fuck his name was. I'm calling him Ty, okay? Shit, damn. So, she don't know him personally or whatever like that. And um, all this other bullshit. So, she was like, you know, somebody else is here with me. 
So she fucking goes back in the motherfucking house. She closed the door. I was like, bitch, I better run. She closed the door and then she come back out. And fucking all of a sudden, Latrice comes out with her and was like, I'm tomorrow or whatever like that. So he like, you know, his face, his face was so motherfucking shady. Like it was so motherfucking shady. And I was like, what the fuck? Like, are you fucking serious? She talking about somehow she made the fake page or whatever to get back at her ex-boyfriend, but her ex-boyfriend never motherfucking responded. Her ex-boyfriend never even motherfucking accepted her request. And, you know, she fucking um, came across Ty's profile or whatever. And, you know, she didn't mean for it to go that fucking far that it went, but, you know, she, you know, she liked him or whatever like that. Like, they had cool motherfucking conversations or whatever and all this other bullshit. You know, shit just motherfucking went really fucking fast or whatever. So she was like, she fucking tried to tell him or whatever like that. Like, she would show him pictures of her real self and was like, you know, would you ever date a girl like this or whatever? And he was like, no, because he don't like big girls. And no, because, you know, that's not his that's not his type. And, you know, she ugly. And I was like, damn. Like, that's so fucked up. And, you know, she said that hurt her motherfucking feelings or whatever. And, you know, she didn't know how to motherfucking tell him after that or whatever, you know. And I was like, bitch, I don't know what the fuck. Like, ain't nothing you could have motherfucking said, bitch. Like, damn, like, he straight up called you ugly, bitch. Like, damn. Neve was asking her, like, you know, what was real that you motherfucking said. She, like, everything was fucking real. Like, my feelings for him. Like, I really do motherfucking like him. Like, I'm still in love with him or whatever like that. Like, everything was fucking real. She was like, he was like, um... Did you really have, um, he was like, did you really have, di do you really have diabetes or whatever? She was like, yeah. And his shady ass also, okay, so that was kind of the only thing that you told the truth about. And I was like, oh, then if you shady than the motherfucker, like, shut the fuck up. But whatever. She was just like, you know, it's still me or whatever like that. He was like, you know, I need some time or whatever to think about it. You know, I just need to clean my hair, need some motherfucking air or whatever like that. So, you know, they leave, come back the motherfucking next day or whatever. She's still trying to motherfucking explain herself and you know, she's like, basically, she was really into it because he was kind of, you know, her fantasy. Like, he was just basically there for her to talk to, you know, her to escape her motherfucking everyday problems. And, you know, he, he was treating her the way that she always wanted to be treated by a guy or whatever like that. Like, he was romantic. He was comforting the every motherfucking thing. And that's just what she would like to have in a guy or whatever. She was like, because, you know, today, nowadays, you know, guys don't appreciate a big girl or whatever and don't understand the shit that we have to go through and all this other shit. And, you know, Neve, I mean, not Neve, but Max had to, you know, kind of motherfucking, you know, get in her ass. Because she was just like, she don't understand why he don't like her or whatever. Like, all she had, he, she was like, oh, you had all these motherfucking feelings for me. And now just because my face is not the same, all these feelings just went away or whatever. And she was like, she don't understand that. She don't get that. Like, she was just like, fucking, I'm still me or whatever. You fell in love talking to me or whatever and all the other shit. So, fucking Max had to let her motherfucking know, like, but you manipulated him. Like, you fucking, you lied about who the fuck you were. Like, he fell in love with your personality, yes, but at the same time, it's still with a person that he was physically attracted to. He was like, it's the same as if he was physically attracted to you, but when he met you and your personality didn't motherfucking match up, he wouldn't want you then. Like, it's just fucking, you know, you can't for somebody to fucking like you and i'm like okay yes that's the same like that, that's exactly fucking right like you cannot sit here and get an attitude and get mad because now he does not fucking want you i'm like girl it's not the fact that you're a fucking big girl yes maybe he's not attracted to big girls but there are dudes out there attracted to big girls if you don't like yourself and you have low self of motherfucking steam you don't fucking feel that well about yourself like you can do things to enhance yourself. Like, you don't have to be out here acting fake or out here fucking doing what the models and every fucking thing do. Like, girl, you sitting there, you like, you ashy black. Your fucking weave is a goddamn mess. Your clothes was ill fucking fitting. Like, girl, like, I mean, call a motherfucking spade when it's a motherfucking spade. Like, I'm gonna give you real motherfucking tea. I'm not the motherfucking skinniest person in the goddamn world, but I mean, you have to motherfucking do what's best for you, boo. If you motherfucking, you don't like your weight, lose a few motherfucking pounds. Try at least 
or bitch wear some my fucking spanks bitch wear some clothes that's fitting to your fucking body type get you a motherfucking good little weave bitch motherfucking work extra goddamn hours so you can motherfucking afford a nice motherfucking grade of goddamn weave like there's no problem there's no fucking issues with you wearing motherfucking makeup sprucing yourself up bitch coconut oil bitch motherfucking moisturize that ashy ass them ashy ass feet that you got bitch i mean like there is no fucking excuse for you to just sit there and be like, oh, he don't like me for me when you don't even like your damn self. Like, you can't sit here and have a fucking attitude because a guy doesn't fucking like you because, like, you don't even fucking like yourself and you're not even doing nothing for yourself. Like, you and you're upset. Like, girl, girl, you sitting here looking like the fucking hamburglar and you motherfucking want to know why he don't want to talk to you. Girl, if you don't motherfucking go somewhere and have somebody beat your motherfucking face, bitch, put some lashes on. Bitch, you don't even understand, bitch. Lashes will transform the ugliest bitches, okay? The ugliest bitches. I, I honestly feel like there is beauty in every motherfucking body. You just gotta fucking find it. You gotta find what's right for you, okay? Sometimes you're just not motherfucking, you're not, you're not that fucking pretty of a person to where it's like, bitch, I woke up like this. And that's okay. That is old fucking K. But once you find out what works for you, bitch, you're, you will be great. You will be motherfucking, somebody out there will appreciate the little shit that you do for your fucking self. But when you just sit at home, you just look, look like a motherfucking slop. Bitch, you wearing Walmart motherfucking clothes. Bitch, you just don't care about your motherfucking self. You know, you don't get your hair done. You don't get your nails done. Bitch, you don't motherfucking spray perfume on in the motherfucking morning. Bitch, you not motherfucking moisturizing and all this other bullshit. Then, bitch, nobody's gonna motherfucking give two shits about you. They really fucking not. Like, for real, for real. And it's, it's real hard out here for fucking big girls. It's harder than motherfucking regular bitches. So it's like, bitch, on top of that, you a motherfucking big girl, bitch. And you're dark skinned. So it's like, bitch, you got the motherfucking trifecta of it's gonna be hard. But bitch, you gotta motherfucking look inside your motherfucking self and do what's right for motherfucking you. And stop sitting around having a motherfucking fat ass, black ass pity party for your damn self. Because bitch, ain't nobody gonna join. Because don't nobody give a fuck. Okay? And that is what the fuck it is. That's all I got to fucking say. So he was like, you know, what I tell you, bitch, I told you, like, if we ever fucking broke up, I'm always be your friend. We still motherfucking friends. I still got your back. I'm still here for you. If you want to call me, if you want to text me, you know my number. Hit me up. I will always be here for you or whatever. And, you know, he was dope. Like, he was fucking cool as hell. He was one of the coolest motherfucking people that I've fucking seen on goddamn Catfish who found out that they Catfish really wasn't them and was, like, fucking not even their type or whatever. He was still cool with her and still motherfucking was willing to talk to her and be there for her. And I was like, you you know what he dope as shit for that he gave her a hug and air motherfucking thing before they left and then fucking when they did the update he was still talking to her ass on the motherfucking phone and he was like he will always be there for her and i was like that dude is motherfucking the shit like he was motherfucking so motherfucking cool like for real and i was like bitch if you ain't satisfied with that bitch then i don't know but she was like you know they cool whatever she he like her best friend or whatever like that and she looked nice in the motherfucking little thing or whatever she had her hair kind of done or whatever like that and she had a i don't know it was a glow about her that she just exuded little confidence and i was like bitch that's all you fucking needed that's all you needed like come on now bitch like y'all hoes need to get it together like Ain't nobody got time for it, really don't. But anyway, that was my motherfucking review. So let me know what y'all think. Make sure y'all click the thumbs up button, share this video, and click the motherfucking subscribe button. And I'll see y'all next.